Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this design right here. This particular one says it's a good day to watch gymnastics, but I will show you how you can scale this out tremendously and give you some ideas of how you can use it. Um, if you would like to learn how you can do this, go ahead and stick around. So here we are on Canvas homepage. I will be designing for a t-shirt today, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to custom size. I'm going to select 4500 by 5400 pixels. This will bring up a blank page. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and set a background color. So I can do any background color I like. I'm going to go ahead and just design for the darker colors right now. So I'm going to select a, ba a black background. Now in today's uh, video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create a design that's really kind of an evergreen, but it's a bit of a cross niche. I want to take sports, specifically Olympic events, and kind of cross niche them with sort of, you know, uh, the country of, you know, whatever country you're, you're rooting for. So really what I'm trying to do is create a design that somebody could wear to watch the Olympics, but without it being obviously Olympic, because if you put Olympics or anything that even looks Olympic-y, uh, it will get you rejected typically. So you have to be careful, but you want to promote the events that are shown in the Olympics and you may promote them with a flag or, you know, colors. Um, but in a way that is is more generic, like, hey, I could wear this shirt any day if I wanted to. And so um, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. It's going to be a really cool design that then you can go ahead and scale out and you can scale this out tremendously. It doesn't just have to be limited to Olympic sports. But as the Olympics are starting next month, the Olympics do start July 26th. Now would be a great time for you to start getting some of those designs up if you haven't all already. So I am going to do a design that says it is a good day to watch gymnastics. And I did do a search. Gymnastics is the most popular summer Olympic sport that is watched. So you can search, you know, Olympic sports and get a list of all the sports that are done during the Olympics. Um, gymnastics happens to be the most popular one, which is why I'm going to show you with that one. So we're going to go ahead and start by taking a, uh, a text box. So hit T on your keyboard to pull up a text box. Uh, this will be in all caps, and we're just going to go ahead and put, it's a good day. And then that is going to go along the top. It's going to be another text box here that is going to say uh, to watch, right? And then pull up one more text box here, and then the last one is going to go ahead, and it's going to say gymnastics. And so it'll be something like this. So pretty simple so far. And we're going to do some sunglasses here. This is how we're going to pull in a little bit of that flag stuff. So we're going to go ahead and just go with America because that's the country that, well, that's the country I live in. So that's where most of my sales are from. Um, but again, you can do this with literally any country of origin. So let's go ahead and pull up sunglasses. Oops, if I spell things right. And we're going to look at graphics. And there are all so sorts of fun sunglasses that you can use. Lots of summer ones, lots of, you know, just random ones. But here you can see there are going to be some, and I can go ahead and go to see all, that are going to be sort of that cool 4th of July style look or that cool... Um, you know, red, white, and blue sunglasses. And so you can see here are some different ones here that you can go with. I mean, this one's kind of cool here. A nice pair of sunglasses, and this allows me to change some of those colors if I need to. Uh, here's another pair that looks pretty good, which would also let me change the colors. It just doesn't have that kind of glare to it, I think. It's got a slightly different glare. I like this one better. Let's go with this one. 
um, because I do want this to be able to be seen on both a light or a dark colored shirt for the most part. I want the frames to be maybe a little bit of a lighter blue. So let's go ahead, do something there. I can make this blue a little bit lighter so that we can see the difference there, right? Uh, I can make sure that is that white, good white color, solid white. Okay, just checking. And so here are some sunglasses. I'm going to go ahead and pick a nice font here too. So let's go ahead. I looked for a while. I wanted something bold but narrow for this. And I decided to go with a font called Berthold Black. Let's see if I can find this. Berthold, oh, Block. Berthold Block. It is perfect. And so I can blow that up so you can see I can make it nice and big along the top. It's a good day um, to watch. I was going to do that one a little bit differently. So to watch, I decided to go with one called uh, Heatwood. Now that one was not going to be in all caps. Hold on. To watch. Cool. Good. So far, so good. And then I was going to do gymnastics, and this one I was going to go back to that blocks. So actually, let's go ahead and make it capital, and we'll go ahead and go back to the birth hold block for the gymnastics. And pull that across the bottom of the page. And so you can already see the way that this has come together pretty quick and easy. And again, once you get it laid out the way that you want it, it makes for a perfect template. Um, so I'm thinking I might do a little bit, I might affect, I might curve the top just a teens, like really smidge so that it looks like it curves over the sunglasses just a little bit. So, so far, so good. Might make that gymnastics a little bit bigger. Center that. And we're going to go ahead and pick some colors here. So it's a good day. We're gonna go ahead and make this that nice red color here. So I'm gonna have it match the sunglasses, right? Uh, to watch, keep that one red. And then gymnastics will go with that nice blue color here. And then what we might do is put um, maybe some outlines or some shadows to make it pop a little bit. Um, so for example, if I wanted to do this um, effects, I can go ahead, throw a shadow on that is white. Now you would see this on a darker color shirt, but you wouldn't see it on a white shirt. But I can throw just a little bit of a pop of white in there. Now I could do the same thing here too with a shadow. Go ahead and throw this that pop of white in there. That just helps it stand out against a darker color shirt, but the white would completely disappear if you were to put it on a white shirt. And so that's kind of one of those cool things that you could do. And I could do that with all of them as well. Let's throw on just that white pop there. So what you can see now with that is it looks good on a dark shirt. It would look good on black or navy blue. But if I wanted to throw this now on a white t-shirt, for example, I could make the background white and it's all still going to pop, look really good. The white shadow will just disappear onto the white shirt. You won't even see it. And so that looks good. But if I wanted to put it on like a dark navy blue shirt or black shirt, that's going to pop out real good too. If I wanted to put, by the way, white around the glasses, I could do the same general thing by duplicating the glasses going ahead and hit control D I've got a duplicate pair of glasses now I can make the frame white and then what I can do is just send that to the back by hitting control in my left bracket and that would go ahead and send that to the back and so now what I've got is a little thin border of white around the glasses if I wanted to do that another thing that I wanted to do that would really make this pop was to add just some like firework type stuff, some red, white, and blue sparkles or stars or something like that that I thought would look good. So we can go up here and I can type in red, white, and blue. And now there's all sorts of things that I could go with. So if I wanted to do some fireworks or some sparkles or anything like that, 
I could throw some of these on here. And I like the ones that let me change the colors. That way I can get all of the colors to just sort of match perfectly. And so I can take some of these. I can make them nice and small too, by the way. Make it whatever size I want. And sort of throw them, you know, in the back someplace if I wanted to. You know, so you can see how I could play with that. I could put some stars anywhere I want that way. I'm not necessarily fond of the shape of that, though. But here's some fireworks. Here's some confetti. I kind of like these ones a little bit more. These ones I can condense a little bit better. Cool. So the condensed ones, I can go ahead and just sort of make some copies of those and throw those in some different places. And so you can see how I can do that. I can keep going, look for different firework type stuff that might look good or just general sparkles that might look good. These ones also look cool, by the way. Again, anything that lets me change the color is perfect. Now, again, the white star thingies are going to sort of fade into the backgrounds. But the blue ones, you're going to be able to see. The blue and the red, you'd be able to see. The white would fade into the background. I could hit control my left bracket and stick that, you know, some of those sparkles behind the words. And so just different ways that we could do that if you wanted to have just some sparkles behind the words. I'm going to go ahead, though. Maybe get rid of those, though, just because it's a little bit busy. Here's some more. That looks kind of cool. I do sort of like that a little bit better. So that I can sort of control. I like it. Let's go ahead and make the blue that nice bright blue. Make sure the red is this nice bright red. And go ahead. I can even make that white so that it'll pop on the black. Cool. I like the fireworks, so I might do some just general fireworky stuff. Some different color fireworks. Not different color, sorry, different sizes. Oops. And then I'm going to send all of them to the back. Once you have it the way that you like it, the fireworks should all be totally in the back, um, which is exactly what I want. This looks cool. That's all popping really nicely there. I mean, I could even, you know, play with it and add some more fireworks there. I mean, I could definitely duplicate it. I could put some stars up here maybe even. And so just things to think about. Anyways, you can see how you could play with this quite a bit, but essentially that's it. That's what I want right there. Um, nice. So now I've got, it's a good day to watch gymnastics. And so that is perfect. So this is definitely something that you could wear for the Olympics. Um, or you could just watch it anytime you want to watch um, gymnastics. You could do it on any, you know, national competition. So... Um, and again, you could do this with different countries and different sports and different anything. So lots of different ways that we could make this really cool. And right now it's just me fine tuning it to kind of make sure everything pops the way I want. But that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead now. It's ready to go. It's a good day. I'm going to put to watch gymnastics. And we're going to go ahead and hit download transparent background it's a png and then it will be ready to put up on anything that you want um, this would specifically be really good for just like t-shirts and tank tops um, and just be careful when you're marketing this don't use the words olympics on anything but you know be creative um, so I hope this gave you some good ideas. I hope you can take this and figure out how you can create your own 
you know, design and scale it out however you want. By the way, to scale this out would be super easy. All you would have to do is hit this duplicate page. And then we're just going to change the word gymnastics to whatever your next sport or event would be. So you can obviously duplicate this out super easily. Um, if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing well with your designs and with your sales. And I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.